Hey guys, I'm back at the Target Dollar Spot and they've got some new spring items out as well as some summer items. First summery item I found were these beach towels, which I guess kind of makes sense. People go on trips to the beach during spring break. These measure 28 by 58 inches and there are at least three designs here. The first one has colored stripes on it and the second one here I think has roller skates on it. It's a little hard to tell because it's rolled up. They really should have put a picture of the towel design on the packaging. I don't know why they didn't do that. The last design here has flowers and butterflies on it. All of the towels are five bucks. We also have these nice wraparound towels for kids. Uh, these are a little different than an average beach towel just because they have the hood that kind of goes over the kid's head. And it looks like there's at least three colors here. They have a uh, blue and white stripe, a terracotta and white stripe, and a pretty pink and white stripe. Now, this is a nice item. I was kind of surprised to see this. It is a metal folding table. Be great for using out on your patio. You know, it's, a, it's not a huge table, but it's big enough to hold like a couple of drinks or maybe a plate and a drink. Or, you know, you could also maybe use this as a plant stand. This is another really nice item. These are plastic outdoor woven mats. They measure 35.4 inches in width by 70.9 inches in length. And there's two different styles here. Uh, both of them are striped. One is black and white stripes and the other is uh, a light green with an ivory color stripe. These would be really nice to use on a patio or a deck. Outdoor mats like these can be kind of pricey, so $5 is actually a pretty good deal. Here's something to keep you cool as the temperatures start to heat up. These are little personal battery operated fans. They work on two AA batteries and those are not included. And they have a ring light attached to them, which is kind of interesting. They come in at least three colors. There's a pretty blue, a dusty rose, and a white. Yes, next time you take a selfie, you can use this to get a nice picture of your hair blowing in the wind. They've got some pretty new food storage containers. Now, these are glass, the bottoms are glass, but the lids are made of plastic. They look like they have locking lids on them too, actually. If you see these tabs on the sides, usually that indicates it locks. Always a good thing to help keep the freshness in uh, and, you know, to keep it from spilling. There are three different styles here. All of them have pretty florals on them. I think I'm kind of partial to the pink one, but I mean, the other two are pretty too. Here are some reusable plastic utensil kits. They have a fork, spoon, and knife in a little carry case. These are great for picnics, but also you could use them every day if you take your lunch to work and school. First set here, the light blue set says fancy a picnic on the case. And the terracotta set here says for snack emergencies. And finally, the pink set here says nom 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 on it, which is kind of funny. Here's some large plastic uh, drink dispensers. These are great for picnics and parties. Love the pink color on these. These have a little carrying handle at the top, and I think there's actually two different ways to dispense the liquid. There is the spout at the bottom, but it also looks like there's a pour spout at the top, too. In addition to the pink, there are two other styles here. Both are clear. One has a black trim and one has gold. Here's some nice glass water bottles. They have plastic grips around the middle that come in either blue, white, or a peach color. Looks like they actually have wood lids on them, too. I do kind of like glass bottles over plastic just because they tend to hold up longer. Uh, you don't have to worry about any chemicals. And personally, I think they're easier to clean. Now, with the nice warm spring weather also comes wedding season. And yes, the Target Dollar Spot has a lot of wedding items out right now, including these metal wine tumblers. Three different styles here. A black one that says best day ever. A pink one that says cheers, cheers, cheers on it. And I like this one because the lettering is kind of... Uh, Iridescent, I guess. There's also a taller version here that says the groom established 2023. These fabric can cozies are another one of their wedding items. These are just a buck a piece, so hey, better deal than Dollar Tree, right? You see three different styles here. There's a white one with gold lettering on it that says the bride established 2023. A black one with white lettering that says the groom established 2023. And there's also a pink one with an iridescent uh, silver lettering that says cheers, 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 just like the wine tumbler. Here's some fun wedding party cups. Uh, these are shaped like little disco balls, and man, do these reflect the light. Look at these shine. They come in both pink and silver, and both the cup and straw are made of plastic. The silver one here looks almost identical to a version they released back at New Year's for New Year's Eve. But I don't remember those quite sparkling like these do. I mean, these are extremely reflective. You can just see the light bouncing off them here. More reusable cups here in sets of five. Some of these, I think, were intended for weddings. There's one that says best day ever. I'll show you that in a minute. Really, you could use these for all different occasions or even just, you know, everyday use. I mean, these are a really good deal, actually. I mean, you're getting five cups with lids with straws for five bucks, so just a dollar a piece. Got a lot of different styles and colors to choose from here. There's the pretty gold set. There's this nice kind of pink peachy set. One with kind of iridescent silver bubbles on it. And of course, there's the one here that says best day ever. So these are little wedding day emergency kits. They say best day ever on them, and there's one for the bride, one for the groom. Bride set is the pink pouch here, and it's got a variety of items in it, including bobby pins, nail scissors, bandages, some safety pins, some hair ties, a nail file, and a little sewing kit. 
And the groom set has the mini scissors, some collar stays, bandages, some safety pins, a nail file, a comb, and a sewing kit. I also found these little zippered pouches that say the bride. The lettering looks like it's done in gold. It's rather pretty. Fortunately, these are sealed up so we can't get a really good look at it. The price is $3. Several new styles of adult socks with wedding themes. The first set here says bride to be and they have hearts on them. There's a heart on each individual sock and then when you put the feet together, they form another heart. The price on all of these is just a dollar. Here's one for the groom. It says I was told it was black tie. Third style has little champagne bottles on it. The fourth one has beer mugs. The last one here has a wedding cake print and it says, I do crew. You do have some nice decorations here for bridal showers, including this balloon arch. Length on this is 72 inches, which would be fine just for something up on the wall. But if you want to do a complete arch for like people to walk under, I think you'd probably need three of these. There's also some nice metallic uh, floral backdrops. These look like little leaves. It measures 60 inches wide by 48 inches in height. The price on this is $5. And it also comes in a silver version. I love these little gold lanterns. I think these might actually be part of the wedding items, like a little decoration maybe for reception tables. Uh, but it can be used for a lot of other things too. Two in a set here, and both of them do light up. They have little LED lights in them. And here are some metal stands for those lanterns. You can package two together. I see they have both gold and black here, which make me think that maybe there's a black version of the lantern. I don't actually see one here out right now, but it seems like there should be a black lantern to go with the black stand here. Maybe keep an eye out for that. Got some pretty new glass cake plates here. These are simple, but actually kind of pretty. I do like these. They're clear, except for a gold trim around the edge. They do coordinate with the other gold wedding items we've seen, but really you could use this for any occasion. Here's some pretty candle holders. Uh, these are made of metal. They're a nice gold color, metallic gold. They match a lot of the other gold wedding things that we've seen. Yeah, and I think these would make nice decorations for the reception tables. Maybe put a few of them together in a centerpiece. Also got some black versions here. And these are similar to some candle holders that they had back in the fall uh, before Halloween. If you missed out on them then, if you were looking for them then and couldn't find them, here's your chance to get them. Both styles of the candle holders are $3. And now if you need some taper candles to go in those candle holders, they do have sets here of two for $3. You can choose from either plain white or they have a nice white and gold ombre. So that's it for the wedding items, but I do see some new gardening items out, including these cute little metal signs. First one here says, welcome to the garden. There are a couple holes on either side so you can mount it. There's also a circular one that says, this is our happy place. And there's one here that just says, welcome. These are all $5. Oh my goodness, I love these. These are ceramic birdhouses. They are actually meant to be used outside with real birds. I mean, you can use them inside too as just decorative pieces, but if you want to put them outside, you can. Two styles here, one that's round with the gold-colored uh, painted roof, and then there's a rectangular-shaped one with a blue roof. These have nice big openings on the front. I've also got little wooden perches. I think I might get one or two of these and put them up in my yard. Here's a nice large watering can. Uh, this is really nice because it's got the long spout on it. It helps you reach those hard to get to spots like hanging baskets or if you're watering a plant with a lot of dense foliage. These are some new cement garden statues. A little frog and a gnome. Of course, you know, we had to have some gnomes in here somewhere. Actually, this is one time when seeing a gnome does not surprise me. I mean, I kind of do associate gnomes with garden statues. I just don't understand it when gnomes are put on everything else. They both kind of look like they're doing yoga or meditation or something. There's a third style here that looks like a mushroom and this one is really heavy. All three of these are $5. Now, if you like planting terrariums, they do have some terrarium supplies here, including these nice large glass canisters. Two different shapes here. You can either get a shorter, wider version or a taller, thinner jar. It has some nice tiered wooden stands here. Uh, now, you could use these maybe like a tiered tray sort of in your kitchen maybe, uh, but I feel like these might make nice plant stands for small potted plants, like if maybe you're growing herbs or something. Come in both black and white. Both are $5. Now, these next items here, I believe, are actually intended for fairy gardens, but honestly, I think some of these could be used for Easter, too. They're miniature animals and accessories. There's packs of rabbits in here and chicks, which, again, I think would be nice for Easter decorations. And there's some gnomes and a bridge. There's a little windmill, and uh, there's even a rabbit hutch slash chicken coop, I guess. It depends on uh, what you put on the inside of it. All of these items are $3. These are nice wire baskets, and I believe these are actually meant to be used for gardening. 
My previous Target Dower Spot video, I showed a lot of gardening tools, and a lot of them were color coordinated to match the pink and the green here. So I suspect these are intended to go along with those tools. Uh, maybe you could use these to carry vegetables, fruits and vegetables, as you're harvesting them, or maybe to carry the tools themselves. They also kind of remind me of egg baskets, so you know, you could probably use these for Easter too. Now speaking of baskets, they actually do have quite a few natural woven baskets out right now. And this one here is actually one of my favorites. This is a storage basket, but it, it's a hanging basket. You see there's one handle off to the side that you can hang it from. You can put a few of these side by side up on the wall and use them to store all kinds of things, uh, or maybe put some faux flowers in them. They also have these larger bowl-shaped baskets. They're kind of flexible. You can sort of bend them a little bit. They have kind of a rope trim around the uh, rim with a little tassel on them. Because this is kind of low and wide, it's a good shape for displaying on like a low table or a counter. Here's a second version of that same basket. This one has a white rope trim to it. Now, I have to say, the rope on this one kind of gives this a, a bit of a nautical feel. So this might be nice for some summer decor if you want to do like a coastal kind of theme. And here's the last new basket that I spotted. This one's a natural woven basket with two rope handles, one on either side. The bottom of the handles are sort of frayed, so they have kind of a tassel look to them. I think this is probably the largest of the new baskets that I've seen, uh, and I'm curious, what would you guys do to decorate with it? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so now let's look at a few new kitchen and tabletop items, starting with these nice Lazy Susans. They have a nice, smooth, glossy finish to them. You can choose from either a solid light gray or a faux marble pattern. And it looks like the marble pattern is actually different from one piece to another. It's not the same exact pattern on each piece. These are two packs of mini charcuterie boards. Last time I came, they had larger versions of these single pieces, but this is the first time I'm seeing the mini ones. Love how you can see the wood grain on these. They're stained really nicely. Small size is nice for, you know, more intimate kind of gatherings. You don't necessarily need a huge board like you would for a big party. I love these storage jars. Uh, you get two in a pack here. They are made of glass and they have metal latches on the lids. Usually that means you get an airtight seal, so whatever you put in it stays fresher. Also a matching large version here. You could use these in a pantry or maybe even just on your kitchen countertop. You can find one other thing in the kitchen items here. It's a pack of 10 mini chalkboard signs. I'm trying to think how you might use these. I mean, I don't know, maybe as little signs on things in a pantry. How would you guys use them? Let me know down in the comments. Here's a nice little wooden shelf with some hanging pegs. I feel like you could probably use this either as a key rack or possibly even to hang things like maybe a light jacket and purse on. Either way, it feels like something that would probably be in your entryway. Okay, so they've got some more Mother's Day items out and I feel like you could probably combine some of the things I'm about to show you together to kind of create a nice little gift set for mom. First item that they have are these little scented candles for Mother's Day. Dark pink one here says thank you and it smells like lilac. A light pink one says love and it smells like sugared lemon. And the blue one here says super mom on it and it smells like sea salt mist. These little storage boxes here I believe are supposed to be like cosmetic cases. You have mirrors on top and you can kind of adjust the positioning of the mirror. It'd be nice to use for like a uh, travel, you know, as a small travel case. You have some new bath items here, including these spa towels. They're basically towels that have closures on them, so you don't have to like walk around holding it. These come in both pink and white, and they are actually sized. There's a small medium size and a large extra large size, so you need to check that on the label. And the price on these is actually very good. I mean, I've seen these at other stores for at least $10, $15, sometimes more than that. A few more bath items, including a fabric back scrubber. And I like the mesh on this. I can tell right away this is going to be something that's pretty good for exfoliating. That's a pretty good price. I have seen them at other stores. They're usually at least $10 though. And over here, we've got a dry brush. These are also good for exfoliating. The price is $3, which again is a really good deal because again, these are usually about 10 bucks. And the last item here is a fabric bath mitt. And I see there's one rough piece of fabric on the mitt here, a little rougher than the rest. So I guess that's also uh, intended to help with exfoliation. This is another great beauty buy. It's a heatless curler set. Basically, it's a way to curl your hair without having to, you know, burn it with a curling iron. And this price is a bargain, okay? These are usually at least 15 bucks. I see a couple of cleaning and organization items that you guys might be interested in. First item here is a box of adjustable drawer organizers. These are basically adjustable plastic dividers that you can put inside a drawer to separate it into compartments. The price is $5 and you get two per box. You also have this electric scrubbing brush. This does look kind of interesting. I mean, for five bucks, it, it might be worth it. I haven't actually tried it, so I can't really say one way or the other how well it does or doesn't work. I do show a few items here on the packaging, some possible uses like for your car or for your oven. I also have a set of three replacement cleaning heads for the device, one brush head and a couple of scrubbing pads. 
any of you guys out there end up buying this and you give it a try, let us know how it worked out in the comments down below. We do have some new items out for kids for spring and summer. This is one of them. It is a mushroom-shaped bug kit. It's basically just a little plastic container that they can uh, place bugs that they catch in so they can, you know, look at them and watch them for a little bit before letting them go. There's also a few plastic tools inside, including like a butterfly net and there's a magnifying glass in here. And here's a second version of the bug kit. It has all the same tools that the uh, mushroom version does, but of course the case is a little bit different. Instead of being plastic, uh, this one has kind of a mesh wall to it. And there's a little ladybug door on the end. We also have some small gardening kits for kids. A bunch of different items in it, including a pot, some tags, there's a rake, some shovels. There's a watering can and even a magnifying glass. All you'll need to add is a little bit of soil and some seeds and you'll be ready to start planting. There's some cute hats here for kids. They have a lot of different licensed characters on them. You see Mickey and Minnie, Paw Patrol, Disney princesses, and they've got Hello Kitty as well. I admit, I'm actually kind of surprised to see Hello Kitty in here. You see Disney stuff from time to time in the dollar spot, but I don't think I've ever seen Hello Kitty. Now the DCPI codes on these are all different, so I will show the tags quickly for each of them. If you want to get the number, just hit the pause button on the video and you should be able to get it. There's a cute one with Minnie Mouse on it. The price on all of them is exactly the same. They're all five bucks. And the next one here has Paw Patrol characters on it. The tag on this one is kind of hidden down here. All of these hats actually look pretty well made for the price. And licensed character items are usually kind of expensive, so $5 seems like a bargain. There's some crafting items for kids here, too, and I have to admit, I really like these wooden birdhouses. There are two styles here, a round-shaped birdhouse and then another one that's shaped kind of like a mushroom. Both come with paint and a paintbrush. I feel like this would be a nice kind of craft activity to do with kids for the spring. There's another painting activity for kids. Uh, they're little ceramic statues that come with paint and paintbrush sets. There are a few different figures here that you can choose from. Uh, they've got a little garden gnome, uh, there's a frog, and there is a two-pack, actually, of a butterfly and a snail. Unfortunately, the one that's here is broken. And I just found a fourth style. It's a uh, double mushroom. One big mushroom with a little one off to the side. They've got some cute little puzzles here uh, for $3. They say terrarium friends on them. Feature images of frogs and turtles, and there's some fish in here, too. These are just 50-piece sets, so, you know, they're not too complicated. A younger kid could probably do these. Artwork on these is actually pretty nice looking. And finally, I found these Crayola craft kits here, which I thought were kind of nice. First one here is a set of four wooden garden stakes that kids can paint. You can see the design's a little better here. There are eight paint colors included. The price on these is only $3, which I think is actually pretty good for a Crayola art kit. Second one is another kind of painting set. It's uh, a set of four sun catchers. And again, it includes eight paint colors. There's a paintbrush and some hanging strands for the sun catchers. Hope you've enjoyed shopping the Target dollar spot with me today. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below.